Hello, Pastor Joseph Adenoga here, Welcome you, welcoming you to Prevailing Life. The title of today's message is, Stand Strong in the Lord. Stand Strong in the Lord. The book of Ephesians chapter 6, if you read it from verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil days. And having done all to stand, stand therefore. Verse 12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Now in this world we are fighting battles, and this battle is basically spiritual. And the origin of this battle, like I said, is spiritual. And so we must fight it spiritually. So... To fight it spiritually, we need to engage all the weapons of God. And in this um, presentation, I'm just going to speak on two weapons. The first weapon that you must put on is a weapon of sight. You must be able to see what you desire. You must be able to see what you want. Because seeing is powerful. What you see is what you get. And I'm, when I say what you see, I'm not just talking about physical sight. What we see with our physical eyes is temporal. They are not going to last forever. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18 says, Why we look not on the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen? For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So, Looking at things as they are can deceive you. When you look at the situation, the fact of the situation, you may be deceived and that can lead you to failure in life. Most of the time, the way we see things, the way we see things are not really the way they are. Sometimes facts of the matter confuse us because when it comes to success in life, Success is not based on what you see. Success is based on what you desire in your heart. What you see in your heart may not be what you see with your physical eyes. It doesn't matter. What you see in your mind is far more important than what you see in your physical eyes. That is what the Lord is saying to us. When he's saying that what things soever you desire, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. That's Mark chapter 11, verse 24. And when you desire something in your heart, and you believe it in your heart, and you see it with the mind's eye, with the eye of your heart, then you are going to get it. Let me tell you, everything you see on the face of the earth were created two times. The first time it was created is the most important time. Everything was first created in the mind. Of a man. Whatever you see on earth was first of all created in the mind of a man. The airplane was first of all created in the in the in the mind of two men, Wilbur and Ovely Wright, the Wright brothers. They saw the machine flying in the air. People thought they were crazy. But today airplane is very common because two men dare to believe what they saw in their minds. When you see it in your mind, it doesn't matter whether you see it in a physical reality or not. Reality is temporal. Potential. What you see in your mind is potential, and potential is power. What you see in your mind is more real if you focus it and intelligently work on it to bring it to fruition in this physical world. You must see rightly. When you see yourself failure, you can never succeed. You must see success for you to succeed. You must see wealth for you to be wealthy. You must see a good home for you to marry a good wife or a good husband. What you see is eventually what will happen in your life. So the first weapon I'm sharing with you in this presentation of hold on is seen properly. You must see properly. You must see your future. You must see your desire. When you, when you see calamity, you see poverty, you must change it. You must say, no, I changed that vision. 
I reject poverty. I reject failure. I receive success. I receive wealth. As you continue to say it and see it in your mind, it doesn't matter what is happening in your environment. What you see in your mind is eventually going to happen. That is what the scripture teaches. I hope you have been blessed. Uh, it is well with your soul. Next time I'm going to continue on this message. Be blessed and remain blessed. Amen.